salt my hands. <laughs> they have been assaulted. Uh -huh. Tonight we're gonna make some sweet potato fries and burgers. We put salt and pepper, garlic powder, some oregano, and some yeet, paprika yeet, yeet, in. Yeet, yeet. We're gonna spread them out on the parchment and bake them at 500 degrees. So why don't we pour it out, boys? Here we go. We put some olive oil on here too. This is meat that we have grinded through the grinder. And we're gonna put some maple syrup in, as well as some garlic, also some liquid smoke, and pepper, and I don't know what this is. That's salt. Oh, it looks different than regular salt. And <laughs> Himalayan pink salt. Oh, cool. Yeah. And we're going to put it, all of these in here, and then we are going to grind it again. Well done, my boy. The recipe will be down in the description. I'm gonna put a little bit of onion powder in too. I don't think that we necessarily need breadcrumbs or eggs, but to make the burgers go a little bit further, we're gonna add some to the mix. Ooh, like a squishy thing in the bottom. Yep. <laughs> so egg number one. I'm gonna pop in half a cup of breadcrumbs. And Eli, you get to mix. mix. And you can like stick your hands in too if you want. Nah. Okay, I think I'll probably get my hands in there. So nine burgers all together. I put some olive oil on top and I'm gonna pop them on the barbecue. I like to grate it so then it melts a little nicer. Probably would use it like a white cheese, maybe like a smoky applewood cheddar or something. That would be yummy. Make up a little dip for your sweet potato fries if you want, some sriracha mayo or something. I ended up having mine with honey mustard and they were awesome. I didn't have any buns for these burgers, so lettuce it was. The only thing I thought it needed was a bit of Worcestershire, so I added that to the recipe down below and I'm gonna pop it in next time. Happy cooking.